हेलो भिवर्स ओलकाम टू माई टेक आपडेट अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल पावर्ड बेक्नोलॉजी आर एस एस डट कम इन दिस टीटोरियल हाउ टू इन्स्टल एपाची क्लाउड स्टेक मैनेजमेंट सार्वर ऑन ओबन टू एटीन पॉइंट जिरो फोर दिस इज माई सार्वर इनफरमेशन अपारेटिंग सिसटेम ओबन टू एटीन पॉइंट जिरो फोर एल टी एस आई पी एड्रेस रैम डिस्क सैज सार्विस एपासी क्लाउड स्टेक भार्सन फोर पॉइंट फिफ्टीन माइ स्कूल भार्सन फाइव पॉइंट सेभेन जाभा इलेवेन जेडी के होस्ट नेम क्लाउड डट टेक्नोलॉजी आर एस एस डट लोकल नाउ चेक अपारेटिंग सिसटेम भार्सन आईपी एड्रेस This is IP address and must be server update and upgrade. My server is uh, already updated. Next, check hostess file. Uh, this is and host name file. This now check. Static IP address setup. And must be set up Google DNS server on resolve dot com file. Then save and exit. Check FKDN hostname FKDN. Then check internet is okay from your server. And then run this package installation process. already install this package and add cloud stack 4.15 repo then check repo is connected and apt update this repo then run cloud stack management installation package and wait at least 1 to 5 minute for installation now successfully done installation process and now check this configuration file insert this below lines open this file copy this lines and paste into mysql d section and comment bind address then save and exit then save and exit and create my cloud stack con file and insert this line open this file and insert this line then save and exit then save and uh, start mysql configuration mysql service and login mysql terminal using uh, mysql root password default is blank
and select user authentication string plugin host after user I identify with mysql native password by password this is root password setup command uh, run this command and exit from mysql terminal and finally set up set up cloud stack setup database cloud clone cloud at the rate localhost deploy as a root clone password cloud stack has successfully initialized database you can check database configuration in etc cloud stack slash management db properties file run this cloud stack management server if not installed open jdk version so install this step manually then check cloud stack management server log using this command and wait at least few minutes then access client legacy ui or cloud stack latest ui latest ui using this url and a legacy ui this is old ui please ensure the following ports are open for the management server to function properly 8080825084439090 if you enable any firewall so must be enable this port and now check successfully initialize database then wait at least 5 to 10 minute uh, import uh, default database into your server so please wait successfully run cloud stack management server using ubuntu 18.04 this is old ui and this is new ui so now login and change some settings global settings default login admin and password is password now successfully login and skip this guide about 4.15 cloud stack 4.15 i'll go to global configuration global configuration system search search this option and say set to false to true set to false to true and press enter then again search ca pl root plugin set to true to false set 
true to false and storage allowed internal site set local download iso web server or public web server as your ip Ten sixty six hundred dot Unish and now must be stop and start management server. Must be a stop management service. and start again management service start again management service then open this file for edit local domain name then save then save and exit start rpc bind and check config on check config on And see this running next step mount secondary status from NFS server and then download cloud stack system VM template <coughs> now stress server configuration create directory mnt secondary mount nfs server my nfs server ip 100.19 and the nfs share is home secondary and mount point my cloud stack server mnt slash secondary so run this command for mount and then run this system bm download command it will take up to 10 or 20 minute for successfully download successfully now installation vm template and now unmount this location uh, note that if you use cloud stack management server as a nfs server so don't remove this directory you want And remove this directory and then cloud stack service stop and start Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please submit your valuable comments 
please subscribe my channel like and share with others and don't forget press the bell icon get the first notification